people ask why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is testing us. Why he did not come down and say, I'm your Lord, worship me. Why didn't he make all the people Muslim? And why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us the nafs by which we commit sins and then we go to hell. If Almighty God wanted, he could have made everyone as Muslims. Quran says in many places. That means he could have made everyone believe in Almighty God. But the Quran says in Surah Mulk, chapter number 67, verse number 2, Allah ji khalaq al wal hayata. It's Almighty God has created death and life to test which of you is good indeed. It's like you telling me that, you know, we have gone to school. After 10 years, we appear for board examination. SSE board, CBSC, IGCSC. So why is the teacher taking test? Why doesn't teacher pass everyone? Almighty God has created the human being and have given the human being a free will. All the other creations of Almighty God don't have free will. Except the human beings and jinn have free will. The angels have no free will. Whatever God says, they follow 100%. But the human being is a superior creation than the angels. After Almighty God has given us a free will, then if we obey the commandment of God, we are superior than the angels. If we don't obey His commandments, we are inferior to the angels. So now Almighty God has given us a free will. And before we came in this world, Almighty God asked us, who would like to become a human being? If you don't become a human being, you have just passed. You may either become mountain, they are Muslim, tree, they are Muslim, animals, they are Muslims, angels, they are Muslim. Muslim means submitting the will to God. All the animals are Muslims. All the stars are Muslims. All the plants are Muslims. All the angels are Muslims. Now human being is a unique creation. It is the best creation of Almighty God. So God asked, who would like to become a human being? The Quran says, we human beings were fools who said we want to become human beings. That means just pass or if you become a human being, you may get distinction. All of us thought we'll get distinction. How many get we come to afterwards? So it was our own choice to be tested by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the amazing point is that even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taken an oath from our souls before bringing us in this world. He asked us, am I not your Lord? In answer, we all said, yes, we bear witness that you are our Lord. As it is mentioned in Surah Al-A'raf, verse 172. And if we do not remember these things, it's because we are now undergoing the test, and during the test we are not allowed to cheat. So he sent us to this world and removed this evidence from our minds. But instead he gave us the guidance through divine messages and gave us the intellect by which we are able to know him and then worship him. So we have been given the free will. And now we are undergoing the test. So if Almighty God passes everyone, then I will say Almighty God is unjust. If Almighty God puts everyone in heaven, then I will die. I was such a good man. I did not rob. I was honest. That man, robber, rapist, even he's with me in heaven. I will object to Almighty God. Why did you put this person in heaven? So Almighty God, the Quran says in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse number 40, he is never unjust in the least degree. So therefore, Almighty God is merciful. He gives us a chance. He forgives us. But finally, is also just. So based on this, we are undergoing this test. This life is a test for the hereafter. So we are a unique creation of Almighty God. And the purpose of this creation, as the Quran says in Surah Darya, chapter 51, verse 56, that Almighty God has created the jinn and the human beings, not but to worship Him. By worshipping Him, that means obeying His commandments. If you obey His commandment, we pass in this test. Otherwise, the Quran says, if He wanted, He could have made all the human beings Muslims very easy for Him. But we are a better creation, a unique creation. If we obey Him, after free will is given, we are superior.